So what happens to the converse of Pythagoras theorem is very important in understanding the Pythagoras theorem. Now as the Pythagoras theorem says that in a right angle triangle that is if one of the angle is 90 then square of hypotenuse is sum of squares of other two sides. So the converse of Pythagoras theorem also holds equally true that is if I have the square of one of the side equal to sum of squares of other two sides then definitely one of the angle must be 90 degrees and the angle opposite to the first side will be 90 degrees. So let's see the proof in detail for converse of Pythagoras theorem or the converse of Bodeyan theorem. So statement is if the square of one side of a triangle is equal to sum of squares of other two sides then the angle opposite to the first side that is this one which I have taken here opposite to the first side is right angle that is 90 degrees is what is the statement of the theorem. So let's take that is if I have a triangle ABC say for example I have ABC then square of one side that is if I take square of BC is square of AC plus AB then in that case I can say that the angle opposite the first side that is BC will be 90 degrees that implies angle A will be 90 degrees is what the statement refers and converse of the Pythagoras theorem. Therefore in this case I had to prove that angle A is 90 using the Pythagoras theorem the converse. So let's see the construction or the proof and the given contents and prove through the mathematical steps to be continued in the next session. So let me consider the triangle ABC. So initially it's given that ABC is a triangle such that if I take so let me take the triangle ABC such that it is given that AC square is AB square plus BC square is what is given in the statement of the converse of Pythagoras theorem. Now here, now I need to prove that because AC is the first side, the angle opposite to it is 90 is what I need to prove. So my target here is to show that angle B is 90. Therefore required to prove is that angle B is a right angle or a 90 degrees. Now what is the construction in the Pythagoras converse? The construction here is that construct a triangle PQR such that I construct a triangle PQR such that I have this as PQR in such a way this is equal to this and this is equal to this is the condition through which I construct a new triangle PQR. So construct a triangle PQR such that AB equals PQ and BC equals QR is what is the construction out here. Now using this let's continue with how we can do the proof of converse of Pythagoras theorem. How we can prove that angle B is 90. But here I consider such that this angle is 90. So construct 
a right angle triangle PQR with angle Q equal to 90 is the special case. So the triangle which I constructed here is a right angle triangle but this is not a right angle triangle but the other conditions are that AB is equal to PQ and BC equal to QR. Therefore my construction says construct a triangle PQR with angle Q equal to 90 degrees such that AB equals PQ and BC equals QR. So continued with the proof. Now with the construction of the triangle PQR let me consider in the proof with the initial step as considering the triangle PQR. Now this triangle being a right angle triangle I can use Pythagoras theorem which says that since angle Q is 90 therefore I can use the Pythagoras theorem which says PR square is PQ square plus QR square since by Pythagoras theorem for this right angle triangle right angled at Q. Now with this I clearly have PQ is equal to AB which I have taken in the construction therefore in place of PQ I substitute AB which is AB square and QR which is equal to BC which I get in this. This is because AP PQ equals AB and QR equals BC is what we have in the construction. Now in this case we also have AB square plus BC square is AC square which we have considered in the given part of the statement. Therefore I have AB square plus BC square which is AC square indirectly PR square equal to this since given. This is given in the statement therefore this can be reduced to AC square. Now PR square equal to AC square when the powers are equal the bases are equal because by law of index these two powers being equal that implies my basis PR is equal to AC. That means this is again equal to this. Now as I can see from the three triangles this side is equal to this side, this side is equal to this side and this side is equal to this side by triple S axiom this triangle is congruent to this triangle is how we understand the concept. Therefore, therefore when I take AB equals PQ and BC equals QR and AC equals PR implies triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR. This is strictly by triple S axiom or triple S congruency axiom. Therefore, this triangle is congruent to this, which makes me understand that when two triangles are congruent, they are equal in all respects. Therefore, their corresponding sides are equal and their corresponding angles are equal. Therefore, this being 90 makes me with the proof angle B is 90. That implies angle B is equal to angle Q, which is 90. Therefore, angle B is 90 by congruency. Therefore, this proves the statement of converse of the Pythagoras theorem where if the square of one of the sides is sum of squares of other two sides then also indirectly I have one of the angle is 90. That angle which is opposite to the first side must be 90 and therefore this will be 90 in a right angle triangle. The Pythagoras theorem and the converse of the Pythagoras theorem both equally hold true.